think as a whole, not limiting it to prostate cancer, there's a lot of excitement about combining immunotherapy with radiation therapy. Primarily because immunotherapy, especially in patients who have metastatic disease, or disease that spread outside of where the primary tumor was, immunotherapy in select diseases, such as melanoma is a great example, immunotherapy has shown great response rates for these patients that used to have a very poor prognosis. A lot of work is going into showing that radiation may sort of uh, sensitize a patient to immunotherapy in the sense it may release uh, the signals that the immune system uh, recognizes. And so there's a lot of trials ongoing in a variety of disease sites, including prostate cancer, that are trying to combine radiation and immunotherapy to try to sort of release these signals, we call them antigens, release these signals so the immune therapy realizes that the cancer should not be there to get rid of it. Um, I will say that prostate cancer on first pass has had less success than many of these other cancers that are sort of poster child like melanoma. And so some of the initial trials being done have not been as favorable or as positive, but it has not not stopped. There's still a lot of research ongoing trying to improve and optimize this, this combination.